My brother, what's your name, bro? Vic. Let me show you something, Vic. What I'm teaching Ursula, what we're talking about right now is in our community, we have a prideful spirit, all right? We don't like to take accountability. We don't like to take correction. We hate those that correct us. The sister said she think it'd be, it be because it's hard to stay focused. But guess what? Let me show you what the Bible says about that. You got that? Watch this. This is the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. So the, the love of God, how we know how to love God, because a lot of our people say that they love God, right? We all grew up talking about we was in church, we sang the songs, we went to the services, we did all that, saying we love God. Watch what God says is the true definition of loving him, read. That we keep his commandments. The true love of God is keeping his commandments. So for, for far too long when our people have been doing what? Saying they love God, honoring them with their lips, but not doing no commandments, that means you're a liar. God said when you love him, you keep his commandments. What else, read? And his commandments are not grievous. So you said that point. You said it's hard to stay focused. But God said when you truly love me, these commandments ain't grievous. All you got to do is apply it to your life. But like I said before, it's pride that's been the downfall of our community. We don't want to take accountability as a people. Right. We want to continue doing what we want to do, living on our sins, right, without nobody checking us for it. Right. That's why we're in captivity. That's why we suffering because God put curses on us for being hard-headed and rebellious. Give me what you got in Sirach. Sirach 10 and 12. Watch this. Don't go nowhere, brothers, because we, we are trying to give the solutions to the black community. The black community has been struggling at the bottom for far too long. Ain't nobody ever asked why? Ain't nobody ever wonder why we the only ones suffering? Ain't nobody ever wonder why? How can we get out these conditions that we in? We get out of these conditions that we in by applying God's commandments to our lives. Give me Sirach 10 and 12. Come on. This is the book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from God. The Bible says the beginning of pride is when one departs from God. Has the black community departed from God in 2022? Yep. Absolutely. We have departed from God by what? Believing in falsehood and lies. We, we are comfortable. We are comfortable with our lies. We are comfortable with our lies. We are comfortable in this wickedness. We are comfortable in sin. Give me Jeremiah 5 and 31. That's the problem with our community. When it's time to hear the word of God, when it's time to repent and keep God's commandments, we have nothing to say. But when it's time to party and club and bounce and shake the behind and fornicate, we all in that. God has a controversy with you, nigga. What you got? Come on. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 31. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear... Bear rule by their means, uh -huh. and my people love to have it so. The Bible says that the prophets prophesy falsely. You so-called Christian pastors who are supposed to be the prophets to the black community, who are supposed to be teaching our people instruction in righteousness, who are supposed to be teaching our people how to repent according to God's word, you prophesy falsely. You teach our people a false message according to the Bible, and the Bible says the people love it so. Why do we love it so? We love it so because we don't like taking accountability. Right. God is calling. What do we want to know? Where is the black man at who's going to stand up and take accountability and rule his daggone nation? Right. That's what we want to know. Where is the black woman at who's going to stand up and take accountability and understand the sins that she's in? We're looking for you. We're trying to rebuild the community. Give me that, give me that in Maccabees about restoring the decay and the state of the people. Why are we out here in purple and gold? We are out here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Americans. You are the Israelites right according to the Bible. You are God's chosen people. And it's high time you stand up and repent according to the word of God. Repent according to humility and apply the laws in your life so we can rebuild this decay of the state. You got what I want? Yes, sir. Read what you got. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 43. And they said one to another, let us restore the decay state and state of our people. That's our mission. We Israel United in Christ, we are out here to restore the decay and state of our people. We tired of seeing drugs in the community. We tired of seeing fornication and adultery. We tired of seeing homosexuality. We are tired of seeing wickedness in the community. And we are here to restore you according to the Bible. That's My sister, I got a question for you. Have you ever heard that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel? Have you ever heard that? 
You never heard that. Read this verse again. Let me show you what we out here for. Read it again. This is the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 43. They said one to another, let us restore the dis decayed estate of our people. The Bible says we got to restore the decayed estate of our people. In order to restore something that's been decayed, it must mean it's been broken down. Our people have been broken down. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? You're 41 years old and you never heard that you were an Israelite according to the Bible. That's proof that our community has been broken down. That's why we out here on the block to do what? To teach you, no sister, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. And you got to repent and keep God's commandments in these last days. You understand that? That's what we out here to teach our people. We've been destroyed as a people, right? And we got to give the people the medicine. But let me ask you a question. You ever had a sore throat? When you drink broken tussin, do it taste good? It don't taste good, but make you feel better, right? That's what this Bible is. Right. These instructions in this Bible, it might not taste good because it might sound harsh, but guess what? It's going to make you repent. It's going to make you change. Do you understand that? We're showing show up. Give me 2 Maccabees 732. Give me 2 Maccabees 732. My brothers, listen up. What I'm, what I'm going over with the sister is, look, that we so-called black Hispanics and Americans, we are the sons and daughters of Israel. We are God's chosen people. That's what I'm going over with my sister. And I'm showing us that with us being God's chosen people, the reason why we suffer when we suffer is because we broke the commandments of God. You understand what I'm saying? Give me that 2nd Maccabees 7, 32. Come on. This is the book of 2nd Maccabees, chapter 7 and verse 32. Don't go nowhere, brother. Come on. This, this word is for you. This word is for you. Come on now, brother. Read. For we suffer because of our sins. You know what verse just said? What did it say? We suffer because of what? Because of our sins. Now the question is this. If we are suffering in the community because of our sins, the question must be, what is sin? Right. What is sin? Does anybody know what is sin, bro? What is he don't know? What is sin, sis? When you keep okay, kill, commit adultery. Those are good examples. Okay, I like that. My brother, what is sin? According to the Bible, what is sin? You can't tell me? All right, you got the verse? Let me show you, because my sister was on point. She said killing and adultery. Those are two big examples in our community of what sin is. Let me show you according to the Bible what sin is. Read. This is the book of first John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So what is sin? According to the Bible? The transgression of God's laws. You hear that, bro? Sin is when you break God's laws. My brother in the green shirt, don't go nowhere. Because you just said you didn't know what sin is. So this message is for you to learn. You got to learn that you've been in sin because you've been breaking God's commandments. My sister, did you hear that? Sin is when you break God's commandments. But the problem is in our community, we're not being taught. We got to keep God's commandments. Pastor tell you God's commandments is done away. That's a problem. Give me Isaiah 9, 16. The leadership in our community has failed us. We looking for the men and women who want to stand up and stand bold for the word of God. God is calling all of you. It's not coincidence that y'all standing here before me today. God is calling each and every one of you brothers and sisters to stand bold for his word and repent according to his commandments. You understand what I'm saying? Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. The Bible says the leaders of our people cause us to err. Who are the leaders of the black community? Bro? Who are the leaders of the black community? Nobody? Sister, who are the leaders of the black community? You don't got an answer? Who are the leaders of the black community? You know nobody? Leaders in the black community, who are they? I got, I got two answers for you. You ready? These fake Christian pastors. And these women without men. Bring it up. I know it hurts, sister, but guess what? The problem in our community is we need strong men of God. Right. That's going to teach us the commandments right. and bring fathers to our community Amen. and husbands to the, to the, to the women. God, we man. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth. 